Hundreds of shipping containers have been arranged to plug holes in fencing along Arizona's U.S.-Mexico border. It's the work of outgoing Arizona Governor Doug Ducey, who signed an executive order to fill gaps in the wall in August. However, the U.S. Forest Service says the presence of the containers is unlawful. It also issued a press release in late November warning of unauthorized armed security personnel on site. But even though federal agencies say any further activity must be stopped until proper authorization, Reuters witnessed more materials move to the southern Cochise County on Tuesday. Environmental protesters say the construction is harmful to local wildlife. Eamon Harity was part of a small group which sat next to the containers. We're sort of recreating intentionally in a place, but we're not here to cause damage, get in anyone's way. What we're here to do is enjoy our public lands in a strategic way that hinders the placement of further shipping containers. And an advocate for immigrants' rights, Karina Ruiz, says she thinks the shipping containers are a waste of taxpayer money. Immigrants are going to find other paths, they're going to continue coming, so it's not going to solve anything. Um, and again, we tell our government, and especially Governor Ducey, that on his way out, his legacy is going to be putting barriers on the people that want to come here and be part of this community. The shipping container dispute comes as Republicans, including Ducey, criticize Democratic President Joe Biden for what they view as overly lenient border security policies. Ducey has said Arizona is stepping in to secure the border in the absence of action from federal agencies. And in a lawsuit complaint against the Forest Service, he argued he has the right to defend the state and protect its citizens. The federal government has filed a motion to block Ducey's lawsuit. Environmental activists say they hope incoming Democratic Governor Katie Hobbs, who won the midterm election, would help, quote, get the containers off the border. Hobbs' office has not responded to Reuters for a comment.